Hey guys. I just wanted to pop on really quick and um, say hi. I haven't gone live on my personal page here in a little bit. And um, I really just wanted to pop on and say hello and give you a little word of encouragement. Because, um, you know, we all have tough moments. Life isn't always perfect. I don't think life is ever actually perfect. <laughs> there are no perfect moments. There are great ones. And there are ones that you may enjoy that are even greater than those. And then sometimes there are downright just, I'm not going to say the S word because we're on Facebook, but you know, those moments. <laughs> and, uh, you know, sometimes you may feel like quitting. Sometimes you may feel like falling down. Um, sometimes you may feel super overwhelmed and at your wits end and sometimes you might feel on top of the world, you know, and like, what if all of those feelings are okay? And what if no matter where you are, you can just breathe and give yourself permission to truly be exactly where you are. You know, this, um, this world can be a little tough sometimes and super judgmental and there's all these boxes you're supposed to fit in you know, all these things you're supposed to check off and tick that you've accomplished and all these rules you're supposed to follow and um, you know it's really just a bunch of judgment right and no one actually knows what they're doing if they're honest you know, people proclaim to have the roadmap to success and, you know, the secret formula and the secret sauce. And one thing I've learned is there is no secret formula and there is no secret sauce except for the gift of being you. So if you're looking for some secret formula, or some magic sauce, or that thing, you know, people pay so much money for programs and diets and just all these things to like finally find the thing that's going to fix that thing they're trying to change. And you know, guilty as charged, a <laughs> total personal growth junkie. I grew up always searching, always seeking for something. And we're programmed to believe that um, that thing is outside of us. And then when we don't get it right, or we fail, um, quote unquote, because what is failure anyway? But we can be really hard on ourselves and society can be really hard on us too. And it's like, what if none of that judgment is real? And what if none of the ways that maybe you're beating yourself up or that you have allowed your friends, your family members, your job, your career, your family, whomever or whatever, what if none of it is as bad as you think it is? And I know when you're like in that moment, like you're in it, right? And you're like feeling the feelings and you're like feeling them really strongly and you're really going through it. It feels like the end of the world, right? <laughs> it feels like it's just Maybe there's no way out. There's no hope that things are never going to change. You've tried 50,000 things and none of them have ever worked. So, you know, what's the use in, in keeping on going and keeping on trying now? You know, um, definitely have had those moments too. And it's like, what if all those things that we're told we're supposed to do are the opposite of what actually is going to work? And what if the only thing that's actually going to work for you in your life is not anything anyone or anything else can tell you or show you? What if that really is all about going on the journey of discovering what the heck it means to be you? That, that phrase gets used a lot. And... I know sometimes it can kind of sound cliche and then sometimes it's like, well, what the heck does that even mean to be you? <laughs> like, what does that even mean? 
um, I've had those moments too. Like, am I being me? What does it mean to be me? Who am I? <laughs> you know? And like, what if you're constantly on this journey of like discovering who that is and reinventing who that is and trying on different hats and playing with different things to see what fits and what if what fits in this moment is not what fits in the next moment or in a moment five months from now or a year from now or 10 years from now, you know, like sometimes people will say things like, oh, you've changed. What does that even mean? Because <laughs> of course, we're always evolving, right? If you're not growing, you're, you're dying in a way, right? So what if change is the only inevitable thing that's always going to occur? And we're creatures of habit, right? So we don't always like change, but what if change and evolution and growth and expansion is the gift and the secret sauce that is going to create a life that is far greater than you possibly ever imagined? So again, I just wanted to hop on and give some words of encouragement. Um, you know, the world's a crazy place right about now. And so what if you didn't have to be as hard on you as maybe you think you do or society thinks you do? What if you're exactly where you're meant to be right now? And what if that is perfectly okay, no matter where that is and no matter how quote unquote far off you think it is from where you should be? Because what if there is no where you should be? What if that's all made up? And just part of the judgment game to really keep you separated from being the ease and the safe and the magic and the joy of being you. So take yourself off the hook, please. No more hammers <laughs> to your head. No more, no more um, being so hard on yourself. Like what if you could be your own best friend? And what if you could be really freaking kind to you? and have your back. Cause like, here's the deal too. Like you can't pour from an empty cup. So if you're not filling your own cup, if you're not having your own back, if you're not taking care of you first, what do you have to give to others? And if you give it all away to others, then you're running around depleted. And then how much of a gift are you really being? So what if it actually creates more for you to give to you first? And that's not selfish, contrary to what society tries to make you think. It's not selfish. It's actually a gift to you and to everything and everyone else around you, including your kids. And this is from my parents, especially my mom is out there because, you know, society is really hard on moms. <laughs> and what if you're actually like being a huge gift to your kids by taking care of you first? and also taking care of them and showing them what that looks like for them so that they don't grow up pouring from a empty cup and depleting themselves either, okay? So again, no matter where you are, things can change, things will change, change is the only inevitable. So like, what would you like to choose to be or do different right here and right now that might actually work for you, that it might actually be fun for you that might actually create your life as different and more dynamic than you could ever possibly imagine that it could be. And if you're on a search and you're maybe seeking for some tools that can support you with that, right? Because you're still the source. You're, you are the magic sauce. And what if there are some tools out there that can actually support you in creating more of that for yourself. So I found these really cool tools from a body of work called Access Consciousness. And their tagline is empowering you to know that you know, because you do always know, right? We've all had those moments where you're like, you have that gut feeling and you knew you shouldn't have chose that thing and you chose it anyway. And you're like, mm, dang it, I knew I shouldn't have chose that, right? Because you knew there was like, 
you didn't have words for it maybe it was a sensation in your body because our bodies are amazing and they always help support letting us know right and so we, we've all had those moments and so like what if you can begin to learn to trust you more and more and more which is not something that society wants you to do right it's all about judging you out of actually trusting that you know and so I'd love to invite you to come play with some of these tools some more so that you can begin to trust you more and you can begin to choose to create more of everything you would like to have in your life. And so I'm going to put a link um, down in the comments as soon as I hop off the live, but I've got some really cool classes coming up, some online, one tomorrow night called Beyond Aging. Who would not like to create Beyond Aging? Um, stress relief intro so if you'd like some tools to like have some less stress in your life or even manage your stress even better that's coming up thursday other ones coming up um you know later this month too so again i'll put the link in the comments so you can check that out if you'd like uh, they're online uh come and play and even if you don't again i just really want to encourage you to be more kind to you, to take more time for you. And, you know, sometimes when you do that, maybe you go take a walk and you just breathe in the fresh air or you go take a nice bubble bath or you go take a nap, you know, whatever it is for you, whatever you love doing, it kind of helps shift your perspective. So whatever that thing is that you've made a problem, and it feels like it's not possible for you to solve it or outcreate it, you can get a different perspective on it when you kind of just let yourself off the hook and stop judging you and give yourself some more space to do so. So keep going. You're beautiful. You're magic. You're amazing. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you, no matter where you're at right now. And I promise that everything can change no matter what things look like in your life, to keep being next time.